Out the ship today in Martinique, French speaking island. It's a little bit of a queue here. That's how we say line. Okay, check our card. Enjoy your day. She's down here. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your day. Bye guys. Uh, <laughs> no use. And here we are, Mar Fort de France, Martinique. This is uh, the biggest little city we've been in so far. Here's the ship. So we got off the ship there, as usual, I bet you the seas. Here's the fort, Fort de France. There's the uh, old church and downtown Martinique. They built this new building, so if you haven't been here in a few years, you probably don't remember this. But there it is. Guess where we are? That's right, Martinique. So it looks like they have some stuff set up right here on the dock. But we're gonna walk through town and go. So this stuff is right on the dock and I can't tell you about the prices because I've not been here in 25 years. So they're saying four dollars for a shot glass and when I say the prices I mean how they compared it in town. But see we're right across from the ship. It took us about two minutes to walk this far. $35 for this dress. There's about 10 or 15 of these places. All selling different things, which is jewelry. Make your own necklace. Welcome to Martinique Local Artist. Prices in US dollars. Twenty dollars. <laughs> that guy right there. Free packaging. Well, he's the one in the picture anyway. Hello, good morning. Bonjour. You could take a buggy ride. Coach ride. Whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I see a McDonald's. Shea McDonald's, of course. A little further down the dock, those little shops we were just at, the tents, the easy ups. There's the ship, of course. And then we get into some buildings that are shops. Let's see what they have. Oh. Swap meat. Bongos. I don't know if I like that material. Hats. And wooden machetes. Wooden machetes. More hats, dresses. Pretty popular thing. Teddy bears. Oh. Made it through there. Of course, there's another side. Maybe on the way back. Um, we're gonna walk along the waterfront and go over to this little beach in the fort. And then cut back in through town, go to the church there. Now you maybe you can see it better. And come over there. Walked along this waterfront. And then walk over to that beach. There's a little beach right there. Water does not look too inviting though. It's a little dark and dirty.
This is the famous park. They've got this little stepped area made of, uh, looks like the Trex wood, phony wood, but the water goes up underneath it. Yeah, they have ladders going down into the water. And it makes that sound. <laughs> which, which is maybe scary the first time you hear it. Also got quite a large playground here. Of course it's probably unsafe. Not like an American playground where it's, you know, no fun. That's some people coming off their yacht. We're almost to the beach. So we walked from the ship down to the beach. And the beach is made up of coral and shells. So, luckily I'm wearing shoes. This looks like some nice sand over here though. But I see lots of broken glass mixed in there too. Lots of broken glass. That's pretty. And I don't think it's any dirtier than a beach in California. Here's the old entrance maybe to Fort St. Louis. It's a Monument Historique. We're across from La Savane Park, I believe it's called. They used to do botanical experiments there. You know, test out what would grow and what wouldn't. I hear. We're walking along the wall of the fort. We came down along there. Uh, we discovered the fort is now a marine base, although it says they do tours here, but I'm not sure where. So we've decided to go across into the park, cut through to the church and head back into town. The park had a fence around it, so we're going to go up to the street, try to find the church. This looks like a military installation. We walked from the fort there, you can see the flag flying up on top. Maybe. Um, up to this street, got a nice wide sidewalk, little shops. A lot of it's closed, a little bit of graffiti, maybe a lot. There's the ship. Well, now there's a tree in the way. There's the ship. So we haven't really gone that far away from the ship. That's the park. We had to walk around, come down the street. We've come up to this building. Looks pretty fancy. I think I hear music coming from it. This looks like some sort of government buildings. They're flying the flag. You ready to run across? Go. This is the Consul General of Martinique, it says. But I'm thinking it's a historic building now and they don't really use it anymore. Although maybe they do. A lot of people up here. Oh, this is the uh, Bibliotheque Scholler. That's the inside of it. Bibliotheque Scholler. Henri Pico, architect, literature, science, people leaving. La Jeannette. We came around the park, forts over there, ships out there. 
de la Liberty? That is. So that's Rue de la Liberty, and this is Rue Antoine Seguer. And I see the church down here, so we're going to walk down this street. By the way, there's a pharmacy. There's something you need. It's like Crocs, Crocs right? Yeah. Those are, anyway. Janet found a shoe store. Sabo, whatever they call them. I don't know French for shoe. Unless it's Sabo. What does it say? Anyway. So we're walking down this street. Here's the Ming Long restaurant. And I think right there is the church. Can you see it? I bet you can now, huh? So that's a pretty bold architecture for a church, I guess. Maybe not that bold. Here's the guy feeding the pigeons. Hey, look, there's the ship. Right there. <laughs> so, that's the church. This is the St. Louis Cathedral. By the way, St. Louis, thanks for the Rams. There's the ship. La Janet. The reflection of the cathedral in that glass building and Fort de France Martinique. Very Caribbean. A different feel than St. John's Antigua. The McDonald's of Martinique. Le double cheese est la original bacon. Oui. Mm. Here we are back on the waterfront. You could spend all day just going up and down this street, I guess. So we'll spend a few minutes doing it. But maybe this is what they are. See, they sell water and coke in there. Oh, we didn't have coin though. So we did come to this place which is just a bunch of vending machines. We could add a Coke for $1.50. 70 cents? So there's a lot of these places along here. They sell beer. This is free Wi-Fi. That's pretty crowded in there. Not really a lot of shopping along here. A lot of banks. I guess if you want souvenirs, it's out to the ship on the waterfront there, the dock, the pier. Here's a perfume store. But most of these things seem like they're closed or whatever. Of course, it's siesta time. <laughs> Came down from there. There's the ship. We walked all the way past the fort and around the park and up to the church and then back down this waterfront area. And now there's this little enclosed street with no, uh, with no, uh, Cars. No cars here. Here's a bakery. 
Oh, well, they're selling sandwiches and stuff in here, too. It smells good, though. Ice cream shop. Clothes. So this is where all the souvenir places are. 270, 480. 270 for a single scoop, 480 for a double. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a poncho. <laughs> so, here's a typical souvenir shop. I gotta get out of here. It's very crowded. I don't know if the prices were cheaper in there than on the, here or not. But, you know, let me go find out. But you got these bracelets for six euros. You know, that's six or seven dollars. These for six. This says it's 15. So, so similar prices, I would say. Similar. I think that was 20 down on the pier, perhaps. Perhaps. Hmm? Hand spinners. Look, the pigeons are watching him make birds. So they're shopping on these streets too. Look at that. But this one has cars on it. Let's go. So there's side streets full of shopping. This is quite the big area. Of course, we got to it in a roundabout sort of way. You could have come straight from the ship here. A lot of places selling clothes, though. Not souvenirs. The police car. Yum. All right, we've walked several blocks now. The church must be over this way somewhere. But I think it's time to turn around. At this very colorful building called the Cor Pernon. See what else is out here. Going up here, lots of stores. Looks a little more local though, not touristy. Smells of food though, everywhere. Great smells. I've seen a few of these places. Lebanese food, I'm guessing. Looks a lot like pizza though. Shawarma. A lot of those. People must make a lot of their own clothes here. Or buy them already made. How about a dress for you? 35. 25. came in these doors. This is actually a mall. 
it's air conditioned. It's like a supermarket here with very long lines. Lockers, in case you want to carry stuff. And another level. So this was a few blocks from the waterfront. Oh, they have ice cream. It's only two bucks. We walked through the mall and we came back out on this open air shopping center that we were on before. Uh, something I didn't notice before, the Colonel's smiling face. Look, it comes with one pylon, one frit moyenne, and one soda moyenne. Formidable. Hey, here's people drinking beer. There's smaller glasses of beer than that other places, though. So we're heading back to the ship now. This is the waterfront where we were. We walked up that street there. A lot of people headed off that way. I think we want to go straight through there. Right. That's, that's 